DBT, a glorious journey. India's great march into the world of life sciences and biotechnological advances began with the creation of a separate department of biotechnology under the Ministry of Science and Technology in 1986. It was a momentous event in the history of Indian science and technology. India has a very, very ambitious uh, goal of uh, achieving a hundred billion dollar uh, target uh, through biotechnology by the year 2020. We can proudly say that uh, uh, two out of three people in the whole world, they uh, get a vaccine which is manufactured in India. Rotavirus vaccine being part of the national immunization program and a vaccine which is delivered at a cost of $50 in US. <coughs> is uh, we are able to provide it at one dollar uh, cost to our people here. The DBT started its journey humbly as a multi-agency board, namely National Biotechnology Board, way back in 1982. Four years of deliberations among eminent scientists and administrators led to the formation of the department. DBT's journey thereafter constitutes its initial consolidation along with the thrust on human resource development, followed by building of institutional infrastructure, strengthening and deepening life science research all over the country. This was followed by upscaling of the country's translational research and boosting of biotech industry and entrepreneurship. The Department of Biotechnology have created reasonably a good number of entrepreneurs good number of uh, job creations and good uh, vaccinations. They have a uh, lot of scope further to grow. And I definitely consider that uh, biotechnology is going to be the big future for our country and which is going to be a big uh, global player. Over the years, DBT has spearheaded cutting-edge research with numerous projects, developed entire generations of talent pool in biotech, instituted regulatory capacity, created 15 world-class institutions, guided policy thinking on biotech, supported key missions and more than 300 biotech startups and 100 entrepreneurs, forged numerous partnerships with several countries. DBT has played a crucial role in leveraging India to one of the top 12 biotech destinations in the world. Today we have a new challenge. 20, 30 years ago our challenge was to build the foundations and institutional structures. Now our challenge is to make sure that these foundations become even stronger as we have a much larger population of young people. Our, our challenge is to develop these institutional structures to make them extraordinarily effective not just as standalone institutions but as institutions interacting closely with other institutions and with the ecosystem. And finally it's a major challenge for us to take our investment in quality basic science, get knowledge from all over the world and from our science, and to make sure that this knowledge impacts on our society. The journey 30 years ago started with a modest budget under the stewardship of Dr. S. Ramachandran. The first decade saw the consolidation of the department in administration of research, its participation in regulatory processes and formulation of policies. Since the very start, the human resource program had a very special focus and is expanding till date. While the National Institute of Immunology, DBT's first institute, was incorporated in the department the National Center for Cell Sciences saw its inception in 1986. Thereafter, followed the first wave of institution building with the Center for DNA Fingerprinting and Diagnostics at Hyderabad. However, support is not limited to the institutions. DBT has instituted fellowship and awards to boost research and development in the field of biotechnology. 
It also supports research in universities and institutes outside the autonomous ones under it. All these efforts led to deepening of the administration of life science. That biotechnology is one area of science which is closest to the requirement of humankind. Whether it is food, nutritional security, all aspects of health and well-being, livelihood security, energy requirement and environmental security. Over the years, it has led to research programs that support basic research, medical biotechnology, agricultural biotechnology, food and nutrition, bioresource, environment and bioenergy, animal biotechnology, aquaculture and marine biotechnology and bioinformatics. Having strengthened its basic sciences, DBT ventured into translational research. The first step was to set up institutions oriented in this direction. This decade was also focused on initiation of partnerships with industry through schemes such as BIPP, SIBRI, etc. The vision document scripted in 2000 was the guiding light till the first National Biotechnology Development Strategy was formulated in 2007. As per that strategy, BIRAC, an industry academia interface, was formed in 2012 to strengthen and empower the emerging biotech enterprise. DBT's impact on translational science has been outstanding, whether it is agriculture, vaccines, diagnostics, um, biological drugs, devices, or in generating knowledge that enables product innovation or solution design. A number of achievements of the department have been the results of international collaborations. It has given a new meaning to scientific diplomacy. It's a very good thing that India decided early on to establish a Department of Biotechnology uh, because this is a field that has the potential to offer great benefits to both uh, health and medicine as well as uh, agriculture and many other areas. Naturally, the Department of Biotechnology uh, acts a bit like NIH or the Medical Research Council and funds a, a lot of research in India. Over the years, the biotechnology sector has played a key role in enhancing India's global profile as well as contributing to the growth of the economy. The DBT, during its 30-year-long colourful journey, has created a long-lasting impact, bringing solutions in multifarious areas like healthcare, agricultural, environmental and industrial. The department is contributing greatly to the Swachta Abhiyan, launched by the Prime Minister as it is geared to boost the Startup India initiative. The recently launched National Biotechnology Development Strategy is poised to boost the current 5 to 7 billion US dollars biotech industry to a whopping 100 billion US dollars by 2025. There would have been no expansion or growth of life science research in this country without the support of the uh, Department of Biotechnology over the years. Many contributions in plant area because uh, agriculture is very important for this country. Center for Plant Molecular Biology, they were all established all over the country. Health science research was supported in every possible way. And you name the disease, there has been a mission program. Mission program in malaria, mission program in uh, viruses, to develop vaccines, to develop drugs. The DBT continues its biotechnological odyssey with pride and confidence, reaching out to unreached and unprivileged, exploring new vistas of knowledge and new frontiers in life sciences and biotechnology.